Okay, we are coming to the alphabets of the language down. And we want to see what are the alphabets of German language, what's the difference from English, and how can we learn them. I, you need to know that the letters in the German alphabet are the same as in English. However, there are four letters which we do not have in English, but we have them in German. And I have the alphabets on the board. The first one is A. Actually, it's coming from A with umlaut. So we have A. And then we have O, which is addition of umlaut. The sign we have on them is what we call umlaut. And then we have O plus umlaut, where it's pronounced O. And then U with umlaut is pronounced U. And then uh, we have this one, we call it etzet, and it's actually the, uh, it's coming from double S to form S set. Remember, these are the four that we have in addition in German that we do not have in English. I want you to know them and note them. Now, the other ones, I'm going to pronounce them and I will give you a now. I will attach a note to each of the alphabet to help you to remember how to pronounce each of them. I'm going to start from the first one, which is the A. Ah. And I want you to pronounce after me A. Ah. Mm -hmm. A. Ah. Okay. B. Okay. C. C. D. D. E. E. F. F. G, G, Ha. You pronounce that with a bit of the thing coming from your throat. Ha. You know, the first one is A, and now H is Ha. And then the next one is E, E, Yot. Yot. And the next one is Ka. I expect you to pronounce after me as I'm pronouncing. Ka. L. L. M. M. N. N. Nothing after me. Co. Air. Air. S. S. T. T. U. U. V. Say it. Foul. And the next one is V. Say it. V. And the next one is X. X. And then we have Upsilon. Upsilon. It sounds a bit funny. That's the pronunciation. Upsilon. And then we have Set. Z. 
set. Actually, wherever you see this letter, it is pronounced like T and S. So we have T, 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 T S, set, set. You see it in the learning material that you have in your hands. That is the first stage of the alphabet. But then it's also very important we attach it to a noun so that it helps you to remember the pronunciation. Um, and then I will attach it to a noun so that it will help us to remember the pronunciation. So let's start all over from the very first one, which is the A. Ah. Remember, uh, to learn the pronunciation very well, you need to go over this video again and again so that you'll be able to remember. And uh, now, we want to go to attaching it to the noun. This is very important. It helps you a lot to remember this word. In English language, you know, we say something like A for apple, B for ball, on and on. But in German, it's always good we have this attachment to, to a noun so that it will help us to know how to pronounce this alphabet very well. So I start with the first one. And remember, in English, we say A for. I want to give you the equivalent of that in German so that it will help you to uh, attach this alphabet with the right uh, noun. So we say A. You have it in the study material, so I just write this one as an example. This is the new word I'm introducing to you, and the pronunciation is V. So I say, A, you remember the pronunciation of this one? A, V. Anton, say it, let me hear you. Mm -hmm. A, V. Anton. Then we'll go to the next one, which is B, V. Beta, say it, let me hear you. B, V. Beta, I will move on. The third one, C, V. Caesar, say it, let me hear you. C, V. Caesar, I will go on to the next one. D, V, Dora. D, V, Dora. The next one. A V Emil. A V Emil. I will go to the next one. F V Friedrich. F V Friedrich. I hope a time will come that you can say it very fast. A V Anton B V Beta C V Caesar D V Dora and on and on until you are able to read the whole alphabet with this uh, attaching it to the noun. We have gotten to A, V, Emil, and then F, V, Friedrich, and then G, V, Gustav, say it, G, V, Gustav, and then remember that uh, alphabet there, this one is, don't forget the way we pronounce it, ha, ha, ha. So we say, ha, V, Heinrich, ha, v, Heinrich, and the next one is e, v, ida, e, v, ida. The next one is j, v, Julius, j, v, Julius, k, v, Kaufman, k, v, Kaufman, l. V. Ludwig. L. V. Ludwig. M. V. Martha. M. V. Martha. N. V. North Pole. Say it. N. V. North Pole. O. V. Otto. Say it. O. V. Otto, P, V, Paula, P, V, Paula. And then we come to the next one, which is the 
Q V. Quelle said Q V. Quelle. We are making progress gradually, and then we come to the R V. Richard R V. Richard S V. Siegfried S V. Siegfried T V. Theodore T V. Theodore U V. Ulrich U V. Ulrich and then we come to to the next one and uh, that is uh, uh, that one is uh, foul and we have a word attached to it foul v victor say it foul v victor and then we come to the next one and uh, that next one is v and we attach it to a word v v Wilhelm, V, V, Wilhelm, and then we come to the next one, which is X, V, Santipe, X, V, Santipe, and we come to Upsilon, the interesting one, and Upsilon, V, Upsilon, and we come to the last one, Z, V, Zacharias, Z, V, Zacharias. As I said, while we are going through the uh, alphabet, it becomes so interesting, and I'm expecting it from you, uh, during our last lesson, that you are able to sing with me with using this alphabet, that you are able to just attach the alphabet with the noun. It's always very interesting, and by the time you are able to do it from R, V, Anton to the end, said with Zacharias, um, you deserve a prize. That's good. And then I want us to know each of these uh, alphabet has, we can give some examples, though you have the examples inside your uh, learning materials, but I'll just give one for each one. For R, we have, uh, just as you see it in your uh, uh, study material, R, you can see it in Adler, yeah, you can see it there, Adler. For A, we have the Adler. That's just an example, just to show you a word. The Adler. And see the way it is pronounced. Just to summarize what we have done thus far, we have been able to learn the German alphabet, and we have discovered that the German alphabet is almost exactly the same thing with the English alphabet, with the exception of four alphabets that are different from, I mean, that are not in English, but we have them in German. And I've been able to outline, I mean, write on the board, these four alphabets. However, you may want to find out what do we, what nouns can we attach to these four alphabets so that we'll be able to also master them as we attach them to a noun. Let me just do that before we finally round off for this lesson. So we have A, B, Ega, A, B, Ega. That's the first one. And then the second one is A. Don't forget what I told you about the sign on them. That is Umlaut, we call it Umlaut in German. And this is Okonom. Okonom. And then the third one is Um. This is U. And that is Übermut. Übermut. And the last one is S set. This one, we just call it S set. S set. Okay? So these are the four alphabets. And so we say, E, V, Ega, O, V, Okonom, U, V, Übermund, S set, V, S set. Remember what we said? 
this one be as we have done uh, already. So these are the German alphabets. Let's learn them. And I'll be very happy if you can learn them so fast and you begin to use them to sing, just as I can do. I want you to learn them too. And this will help us as we go on in the study of 